Over 500,000 Sudanese refugees now have a reason to smile after a donation of assorted items was handed to them by Vision Group journalists. The items, which included clothing, footwear, and sanitary materials, were given to refugees who recently crossed into Uganda. They are being housed at the Omogo refugee settlement in Arua district. The donation was the culmination of a month-long campaign codenamed Be Your Brother's Keeper, where the Vision Group sought to highlight the plan of South Sudanese refugees in Uganda. So we realized that we needed to do much more than just tell the story. Mm -hmm. The story is important because it mobilizes the whole country. Mm -hmm. The whole country gets to know what is happening in a particular area. Mm -hmm. And as journalists, we are the eyes and the ears and the mouth of society. Mm -hmm. We reach where the third country reach and tell them what is happening. Mm -hmm. And indeed that we've done as Grace has explained, we've been doing that since March 26th mm -hmm. and even earlier. And every single day the new vision has dedicated the whole page to tell the story in West Nile. Mm -hmm. That is a big thing because the whole page is costed at about 10 million shillings. Mm -hmm. But we decided to do that so that we could be able to mobilize communities to be able to know what is happening. Mm -hmm. uh, Arua One has dedicated free radio programs mm -hmm. just to reach out to the community, to the refugee community, mm -hmm. and to make them welcome. Mothers smiled as they lined up to pick clothes for their babies and themselves. Men too could not hide their joy as they tried on shirts and trousers. I feel nice, smart even. Yeah. <laughs> Vision Group is a raw one FM champion the drive in West Nile. Uganda is host to over a million South Sudanese refugees. All of them are housed in West Nile. Vision Group Editor-in-Chief Barbara Kaija thanked the people of West Nile for embracing the refugees. Say thank you so much to the Arua One team for all the work you've done to make this possible. Thank you so much for the Vision Group family. But thank you so much to the West Nile community for hosting our brothers and sisters. And thank you so much to Uganda as a country for being our brother's keeper. And we need to continue to do that every day in our homes in the communities and even in the settlements. Earlier, the donation had been seen off by the Bishop of Madi Diocese, His Grace, Right Reverend Charles Collins Adaku. This report was compiled by Ronald Kato in Arua. And clergy and people of Madi and West Nile Diocese, and as a church, we want to thank God and also commend the media house and the journalists fraternity for being passionate about the refugee issue in the West Nile. You know what you have done here is in line with the Christian principles which we normally preach to our Christians. This is what Jesus Christ personally demonstrated when he came on the earth. He didn't only do the preaching. He actually comforted people. He gave hope to the people. He healed people. And he was all out for people who were in need. Mm -hmm. And I know you have shown the greatest love, mm -hmm. which God will not forget.